30 cases of clearance gas. And the day my sister got a peek into Elton John's, then happened. Sadly, the only exciting one I got was Leslie Crowder. Those of you who are my 50s, well, they're very good at talking about. He was sort of our generation last on deck, except the only one of them that wasn't funny. We still laugh at the ridiculous it all was. We were 19 and 17. Nobody ever told us what we were looking for or what we were doing behind it. We were purely decorative. Our navy very quickly uniforms were not. And some of you will no doubt be remembering that you know what was the most fun hotel in the world. All I can say is never on my watch. <laughs> Younger people often ask how we got through those days. We just got on with it. We never really could imagine that anything bad would happen to us. It just became our normal. At the end of the Christmas holidays in 1971, it was decided by the mothers that Jardine and I, at 12 and 11, were responsible enough to take our sisters to the cinema without an adult. Since we were very young, we'd been going to see all the classics like Mary Poppins, The Sound of Music, at the Stadium Cinema on the Shackle Road. My mum loved and still does love the movie, so she always took us, but to our horror, she made us wear our anorak cream up so we wouldn't get lit. On this trip, we'd be able to watch Bareheaded, and there might even be boys. My dad dropped us entirely and off we went with my five-year-old sister in tow. We went to the classic, considered by my mother, a connoisseur of Belfast picture houses, to be one of the more upmarket venues. No chance of lits in there. We bought our toffets, checked out the emergency exits, and settled in for the show, being like big girls. We were about halfway in when the lights came back 